all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show you how to create google credential and then how to use the google map javascript api so let's get started okay all right so let's get start so first of all uh, you have to go to console.cloud.google.com i'll provide you this link in the description below after that you might see some some interface like this so make sure you are already uh, logged in with your google account for me i am already logged in here and then uh, right now i have one project called dss api but uh, for this particular application i am going to create new project so in the top bar you will see the select uh, project drop down and from there you can create the new project so i'll i'll uh, make the project name is uh, google map google map and then i'll leave the uh, location of organization blank because i don't have any organization okay now it's uh, creating so you can see this loader here uh, it says now it's created successfully okay now uh, after creating this project i can select the uh, particular project which project i want to work with so i'm going to select the google map uh, so the uh, just created project and then after that uh, i have to create the credential and then the apis okay so for that you have to go to uh, this toggle this navigation bar and then you have to go to apis and services after that you can go to libraries so in the libraries uh, there are lots of uh, services provided by the google but for this particular example i'm only using the google map so i'll enable this map javascript api so just click it and then enable it it might take few seconds to enable so just wait okay now it's enabled successfully so i can again go back and then go one more back and then here are lots of other uh, services as well in inside the map okay uh, for time being i think uh, i'm only working with the uh, Google Maps, uh, so uh, JavaScript API. So I think it will be fine. But uh, whenever you want the more features like the geolocation or geocoding or the uh, places API, and then uh, and the one useful API is uh, I think direction API. So these API are most commonly used and then uh, widely popular APIs. So you can enable these APIs as well but for time being i'll only enable the uh, maps uh, javascript api and after that uh, so you can uh, go to the your credentials and then you will see uh, the credentials here so right now i don't have any api keys i don't have any auth 2.0 client and i don't have any service accounts so i can for working with google maps i i have to add the api keys so to create api key you can uh, click this create credentials button and then you can create the api key okay now my api key is this uh, okay all right it's public but uh, i'm going to restrict this key after uh, creating this video so that uh, it will be restricted and no one can use this api key it's okay for time being and then here in the restriction tab uh, you can uh, provide the api key name i'll provide the name similar to project name google maps and then here is my api key and then uh, for the application restriction actually you can restrict it to the particular one services so for me uh, I'm using the HTTP server websites, so I'll I'll select this HTTP uh, refers, and then also I can add the my domain name something example.com or uh, 
or something local host or something like that but for now i'm going to use it for all so if i left it blank this api key will be accept request from any website so that's what i like for now but uh, if you are going to use this api for the commercial product make sure uh, you don't leave it blank and you you add it, you add the your domain name and here in the api restriction uh, i don't want to restrict any keys but if you are if you want to restrict keys so you can select this particular uh, apis whichever you want to use and then restrict other so if i select maps javascript api it will enable only for the map javascript api this api key but uh, if i select others if i did not select any then it will be useful for all, all the services all the apis i can use and then uh, i'm going to save it here so okay now i saved it uh, i i get this uh, this warning this api key is unrestricted to prevent uh, i think it's for the uh, safety purpose but i'm not going to use this api much uh, it's just for the uh, this tutorial so it's okay i hope it will be fine okay in this way you can create the google api key uh, so that you can work with google maps and then you can build your web gis or web mapping application with google service google map service so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video hit the like button and keep subscribe my channel so that uh, you will get the notification about other upcoming videos lectures so in next week i'm planning to create the web mapping application using google maps uh, so for that you might need to create your credential and api key first so this is the first step i'll uh, see you in the next step next week thank you for watching